There's a bacteria on a plate and a toxic substance is being added that slows down the rate of growth of the bacteria. That is supposed to PDT equals the quantity 2 minus 0.1 T times P. If P of 0 equals 1,000, find the population at T equals 5. To begin, we've been studying how to solve first order linear differential equations using separation of variables as well as the integrating factor. Because the given differential equation is in the form of dp dt equals a function of t times a function of p, we will use the technique of separation of variables, which means you want all of the p's on the left and the t's on the right. Let's first multiply both sides of the equation by one over p. Notice on the right, p times one over p will simplify to one. So multiplying both sides of the equation by one over p, we have one over p times dp dt is equal to the quantity 2 minus 0.1t. And now we'll multiply both sides of the equation by dt. We'll write the differential equation in differential form, which gives us 1 divided by p times dp equals the quantity 2 minus, let's write 0.1 as 1 tenth, giving us minus 1 tenth t dt. Notice now we have the p's on the left and the t's on the right. The next step is to integrate both sides of the equation. On the left, the in-depth integral of one divided by p with respect to p is equal to natural log absolute value of p. We do have plus a constant, but we'll include the constant on the right. Now we integrate two minus one-tenth t with respect to t, which gives us two t, and then minus one-tenth times t squared divided by two, which gives us 1 20th t squared, and then plus a constant c. And now we need to solve the equation for p. We can do this two ways. We can write the log equation as an exponential equation, or we can exponentiate both sides of the equation with the base of e. Remember, natural log is log base e. The equivalent exponential equation is e to the power of 2t minus 1 tenth t squared plus c must equal the absolute value of p. And we can drop the absolute value because the exponential term is always greater than zero. So this gives us p is equal to e raised to the power of 2t minus 1 20th t squared plus c. From here we can write e to the power of 2t minus 1 20th t squared plus c as e to the power of 2t minus 1 20th t squared times e to the c Remember, when we're multiplying the base of the same, we add the exponents. And e to the c is just some constant, so now we'll let d equal e to the power of c, which gives us the general solution, p is equal to d times e to the power of 2t minus 1 20th t squared. And I'll determine the constant d using the initial condition, p of zero equals 1,000. Let's do this on the next slide. Using the initial condition, we substitute zero for t and 1,000 for p. This gives us 1,000 equals d times e to the power of two times zero minus 1 20th times zero squared, which gives us e to the zero, and e to zero is equal to one, and therefore d is equal to 1,000. So now we know the particular solution is p, or if we want p of t, is equal to 1,000 times e raised to the power of 2t minus 1 20th t squared. And now we can determine the population at t equals five. The population at t equals five is equal to p of five, which is equal to 1,000 times e raised to the power of two times five minus 1 20th times the square of five. And now we grow the calculator. Running to the nearest whole number, we have 631,000 69, which indicates that t equals five, there are approximately 631,069 bacteria. I hope you found this helpful.